everyone! Welcome back to another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the Blue Butterfly Garden section because today I'm highlighting the Fragipani hornworm. So I'm actually standing in front of a Fragipani tree, also known as Plumeria, and we can actually see there's several hornworms all over this tree. They're very large and they're very distinct in color and they're actually native to the tropical and subtropical areas of America, but they have expanded to other parts in the world, and that's probably due to people planting fragipanies or plumerias um, in different countries. And they've also actually been spotted as far north as Pennsylvania, and which has also led researchers to believe that they could possibly be a migratory species. But let's get closer and see what they really look like. So as we can see, this is a fragipani tree and we can see one of the hornworms climbing up here. Now let me put my hand near it so you can get a size idea. Do you see how large this hornworm is? There's several more over here, let's take a look. These hornworms are about six inches long when they're fully grown. That's very huge for a caterpillar. Now these caterpillars actually will go through the stages of metamorphosis. They go from egg to larva to pupa, and then they turn into a moth. They will turn into the giant sphinx moth. If you'd like to see a picture of that, you can check out our Google Classroom, our guide for this species on our virtual living lab at keywest.garden education. And you can see these distinct colors that this hornworm has. It's almost kind of scary looking. It's got that red orange head and yellow and black stripes. And this actually is an adaptation by this species to let others know that it could be toxic. So these caterpillars eat exclusively this fragipani tree and they get that toxin, almost like the zebra longwing caterpillars. So if another predator were to eat it, they would actually get that toxin. So their coloring helps to scare away predators. When they go into their pupa stage, which is like their chrysalis stage, they actually just develop this hard outer shell and they actually just fall down into the leaf litter and they become a pupa and they stay in the leaf litter down here until they emerge as a moth. I don't see any pupas right now, but that's also on our guide. So if you wanted to check that out at keywest.garden slash education. They're most commonly found from July to September in South Florida, which makes sense why we're seeing so many now. I think there's probably about 20 on this tree alone. And the moth that they turn into is actually nocturnal and it will become a pollinator that helps pollinate the plumerias in the garden. If you want to come check out this species, you can come see for yourself at the garden. Like I said, this is in our blue butterfly garden area. Um, they will be here for a while. This is their breeding time. So come check them out. Thanks for joining me for another Species Spotlight.